too far. So it's going to be like a tap slash shadow. And if you don't know the difference between the two, a root tap is just the first few millimetres, maybe up to five. And then a root smudge um, is down to the parietal ridge. And then like, you've got like a root shadow, which I think is like the size of my finger. Um, obviously, people call them different things, but that's how I define them. And it just works for me. So taps are very little. Shadows are slightly longer and sm smudges or stretches come down to the parietal ridge. So let's get mixed up and I'll show you how to apply it. This application, what we're going to do is we're going to tap, drag, tap, drag. So that is for me what this looks like. Tap and drag, tap and drag. So it's an extension of a root tap. And it comes down there about once. We're all on and we've just let it process for five minutes. Now it's a 10 minute development time, so it's quite a quick product. We're gonna get a brush like this. This is a detangling brush. You don't want a paddle brush, you want a detangling brush. And I particularly like this one because it doesn't have a pad on it and it kind of curved to the shape of the head. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're just gonna feed the product down the hair. And we can do this in fairly big sections, which is nice. Um, and we're just going to feed the product down the hair and it's just going to just diffuse the product through. Um, now remember we've got to let it process for a minute before we do this because what we don't want to do is darken the highlights down too much at all. But we do want to create a blend and honestly it's as simple as it looks, you're literally combing the hair through. Um, you do want to put a little bit of pressure on there, you know, want a bit of a firm so the product does distribute, but because the teeth are so soft and, and movable, um, you don't actually get like really serious amount of product dragged down the hair. I don't know there's, you know, I'm gonna get in the comment section umpteen thousand different um, ways of doing this, of course, and there's umpteen different brushes and everyone's got a favorite, but a detangler brush for me is just the quickest and easiest way to get like the perfect blend, but you Honestly, if I'm, not, I'm going to say it again, just to reiterate it, you do need to wait for half of the development time. So if you've got a 20 minute toner, you need to wait 10. If you've got a 10 minute toner, you need to wait five. And if you've got a five minute toner, well, get going, you know. But um, it is a really superb way of diffusing that product down. We're now just going to let it sit for like another minute. We're all done. This was a very, very simple technique, as you saw from the video, but really effective. We've obviously toned down that root area to kind of give it that more modern highlight vibe. Um, because I think really today, everybody, even if they like being really blonde, appreciates having a little bit of softness at the root area. One, it grows out a bit softer. And two, I think it just looks more expensive. Um, we've just given it a little tidy up. I didn't film the haircut. But um, it's just a nice little layer in there. We've put a nice soft beach wave into the hair just to amp it up a little bit. Um, but, you know, the existing blonde that was through the ends is from previous colours that have been done before. And um, I really, really love doing those spatula highlights. I think they are one of the sort of really great salon hacks when you don't want tons and tons of lift. You want to get maximum five levels and then go back in and tone or root shadow or whatever you're going to do that is an absolute winner in my book